The voting code is star 800 star 505 cash and my code is MD10. Thank you. So he stole the motorbike. 
and then we come to the worst of it, that is death. Listen to a boy at his age mentioning something like 12 pounds. Have you ever heard of such a before? Me, I don't even know what it is, but I'm sure it's something that can kill. Yes, and we also have another term, which is the worst of it all, that is Sakawa, the involvement of rituals inside the cyber crime. Ladies and gentlemen, it will be prudent to apply some of the causes of this crime. And so most of the causes are parental influence or poor performance at school. Let's say a parent comes. You, there are so many instances where you see parents comparing their kids to other kids. It will be like having to say this boy, look at where he has gotten to. He is driving this type of car. He is driving this motorbike. You don't even know where the boy had it. I arrange roads from to get all those things, and you are pushing your child to go and do it too. We also have what we call the the with the school a perform poor performance at school. This is where the issue of free SHS came in. Government have made the attendance of SHS so easy for most students, and this is where it has also become a tax because parents have become irresponsible because of this free SHS thing. When the government makes going to school easy for you, it doesn't mean you should drop your responsibilities as a parent. Whatever you are supposed to provide to a child to go to school, provide it. Because if you don't do it, he will have to go and get it from his peers. And through that, he will end up making bad uh, results when he's in school. We have peer pressure, we have revenge, we have frustration, we have poverty, we have weak laws, we have youth unemployment, and so many more. Tonight, Sadi Kusagodi Salamotu is standing in front of you as the CEO of Triple S Foundation, where we scream, sensitize, and sanitize on general issues. And I want to advocate for the eruption and the bringing out a nip in this camper by stopping internet fraud or cyber crime in my municipality. And here are some of my recommendations. We can start by having community dialogues. Yes, this can inform stakeholders referring to our tutors, our parents, opinion leaders, NGOs, who can come in between us, come and sit with us, have a dialogue with we the youth on what we would like to do and then how we will go about it, but not through crime. We also have what we call mentoring and coaching, where you can bring role models of people who are in high rank, such as teachers, doctors, and then those in the sciences. This knowledge these kids have and they are using it to scam. They can use it to invent something or to also get a, a form of employment for themselves. If you have the knowledge of scam, can't you use it to repair a phone? Can't you use it to help someone at the internet cafe? We also want to appeal to government and opinion leaders to, put, to uh, enhance our laws so that anyone who is involved in crime will be reported and arrested with necessary procedures taken to stop it. Apart from this, we also have a way we call the involvement of the youth in matters of the community. Yes, to lessen their frustration or also to bring, out, to bring down stigmatization. Maybe this child is saying, oh, I want to go and sell pure water. And then his colleague will be like, Ah, look at you, a very nice lady like you. You are going to sell pure water. If you involve the person with the benefits of selling pure water and how to go about it, definitely the person will get encouraged and want to do more of it because she knows at the end, sweating to smile is better than smiling to sweat. Ladies and gentlemen, I would also like to take you back to a movie titled The Greatest Robbery of All Times. In this movie, the youth broke into a bank and robbed a whole sum of money. When they were arrested, they weren't jailed. Do you know why? Because they used their knowledge to help them. To, to act, they, they were asked to use their knowledge to, break, to bring a form of protection to the bank system so that there will not be any form of robbery again. And with that, they made it big. And really, they, ever since they are arrested, there was no form of robbery again. The two net in Yesazanim, and Zanti Ya, Tenenesem, Netabansom, and Turn Yang Yellow, Kachi, Kapurse, the Kotong Mamwari, Mabi, 
Dipa yung buen lo jiru zuhu. On tong man, on tong tong buen tu ma. Ban zang fur lo julem. Ta dun pa e belga kati nya. Mpa e. Ok, so. Se pa wuri salamatu salfu. I think she deserves a bigger round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, everlasting, ever pure, ever beautiful, ever smiling. Salpa Wene Salfu Salamatu from you. Yile. Yeah. Thank you. Um, salam alaikum Salpa Wene. Amin alaikum salam honorable. Yeah. Um, I believe um, you have recounted the um, issues you are facing as a community. Yeah, can you tell us the difference between challenges and problems? Challenges and problems. Okay, to my understanding, if they say a challenge, then it's something that is worrying. Even though the rate at which it is a problem, like a challenge leads to a problem. Because when it's something you cannot tackle, when it becomes a problem, then it becomes an issue too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, so are you sure that um, this cyber crime exists in Savlugu? Yes, it does. Are you sure? Yes. So what are the effects? The effects? Yeah. We have theft. Because when their clients don't pay again, they end up stealing. Yeah. We have death. Yeah. Mysterious killings. Okay. And a whole lot. Yeah. Yeah, I've totally agreed with you. Yeah, and then I've also enjoyed your submissions. Thank you. Especially the drama. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, my honorable judges. And if Saipa Wuni is your favorite, don't just clap your hands for her. You know what to do. Star 800 star 505 hash. The magic number, her nominee code is MD10. Keep the votes coming because tonight, someone or some people may have to leave the competition so that we can have a few of them getting to the grand finale on 31st of October 2021 at Radaj Conference, uh, Radaj Lodge and Conference Center. Without much I do and say, time is far fetched. We're going straight to the next performer for tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, are you happy and ready? Can I hear you say, yeah, yeah? <laughs> 